Authentic Masculinity, Shannon McGurk. Five, four, three, two, one. Hi, my name is Shannon McGurk. I'm the founder of Authentic Masculinity. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about my big idea. My big idea is that Christian, or specifically Roman Catholic masculine virtue, can save the world. I'm the happily married father of 12 children now, but I didn't want any children when I met my wife. And I think that this journey to realizing that authentic, Christ-centered, God-focused masculinity is the answer to the world's problems, I think that realization has dawned on me slowly over many years. But it all came to a head for me in 2007. In 2007, in November of 2007, after I prayed a very dangerous prayer, and that prayer was, Lord, whatever separates me from you, take it away. In response to that prayer, uh, three things happened in November of 2007. My daughter was diagnosed with cancer. She was four. I learned that there were some very serious problems within my business. Um, I'll accept responsibility and say it's because I wasn't paying close enough attention to many things. But then, of course, the economy was turning. And as a result, my growing family, uh, we lost everything. We were pretty much wiped out. And in the throes of this tragedy, which ended up becoming a comedy because it does have a happy ending, I realized that to dig out, I had to master myself, master my appetites, master my desires, master my own sense of masculinity to get out. And ultimately, we did get out. We'd clawed our way out of this horrible hole that I had got us into. And the lessons I learned have been pivotal for me, and I want to share them with others. What I've discovered over the course of these last few years is that there are five privileged responsibilities that every man has. And those privileged responsibilities that he can give as a gift to the world are man as prince, which means a leader, man as priest, which is a man, he does not necessarily have to be a Roman Catholic. He doesn't have to be a Christian necessarily, but he has to ask the deeper questions. Where am I from? Where am I going? Why am I here? What happens after I die? Those deeper questions which we take for granted. So man is prince, man is priest, man is prophet. A man as a prophet is the gift of watching the signs of the time, observing them, and then making prudent decisions to lead those he loves and leads to a better life and to prepare for those difficult times. So prince, priest, prophet, provider. That man as provider to others allows them to pursue the higher goods in life. And the best example, of course, is the traditional model of a husband and father providing for his wife and children. And then protector, man as protector of the innocent, the beautiful, and the good. So those five Ps, the privileged responsibilities of authentic masculinity, are what I believe men can present to the world as an act of service. And men who make this decision to focus on those five things all at once, and then put those five privileged responsibilities at the service of male-female complementarity, in which men and women are completely equal and completely different, but integrated and complementary, and then linking that all to the masculine genius for clarity, simplicity, and action. This is my formula, and that we conquer through service when we place ourselves in a disciplined way in those five privileges, using our masculine genius as servants to those around us, always remembering male-female complementarity, that this, this magic mix that the Roman Catholic Church presents to the world, quite frankly, is what will save the world. The problems we face as a result of this not being the case, or not enough men being made conscious of this beautiful mix, is what we see around us. We see men, all of the things that were written in Humanae Vitae have come true. And we look at a situation now where all of the, name any one single ill, and I'll tell you, it's a crisis of men not fulfilling their masculine privileged responsibilities. Look at the scourge of abortion. Where are the men in these stories? Where are the, the husbands, the fathers, the brothers? Uh, pornography, my goodness, look at that scourge. And I don't say any of this in a spirit of judgmentalism. W what I've told a focused missionary recently is, I said, you know, the Roman Catholic Church's teaching on human sexuality is the secret weapon that the Roman Catholic Church has to offer. And if we earn the privilege of having these 
deeper conversations, and that comes with a whole skill set of communication, if we earn the privilege of having these deeper conversations, we can evangelize Christ's message of love to the world. It's a revolutionary concept, and the Roman Catholic Church have it, has it at its heart, and it's something that I think we need to promote more energetically. And as a happily married father of 12, who did not want any children when he married, because that's another story I could tell, and that is that when my wife and I married, we said we want to be what we say we are. But this is just another subcomponent of my story. So now, happily married father of 12, youngest child is five, oldest child is 31, and I'm 59, I would say all of this is the fruit of authentic masculinity, which is Christ-centered masculinity, living those five privileges. And the promised land, of course, is one in which we can live a meaningful, responsible, fulfilled, more balanced life and give our masculinity as a gift to the world. Well, I'm looking at the clock and I thought I would be talking a lot longer, but I'm not. It's really just a shorter talk, isn't it? So uh, I look forward to hearing more from anybody who hears this message and engaging in any discussion. I'd like to teach workshops on responsible communication of these messages, how to earn the privilege to have these conversations no matter where you are, and how to lead a Roman Catholic life as a man in the secular world, which really is enemy territory. And I could, I could tell many stories, but I don't want to take the time to do that right now. Um, I'm hand-holding my phone. Uh, that's in a spirit of urgency. My call to action is to ask yourself as a man, if you're listening to this, where you can deploy yourself and, and offer your masculinity as a gift in those five areas. Prince, priest, prophet, provider, protector. Ask yourself how you can live a life of full complementarity and equality with the women in your life and how you can offer your masculinity and the masculine genius that I've identified is for clarity, simplicity, and action. How and where you can offer that miracle, that genius that God has given us uh, as a gift to serve those around you. I'm looking forward to giving a talk on Solanus Casey. I think that he, he epitomized much of this and uh, I look forward to hearing more in anyone, in any conversation with anyone who hears anything that he or she thinks would be useful. Um, I thank you. I thank you.